Acquiring a current gen GPU is almost impossible these days, no thanks to crypto mining and of course the global chip shortage issue. But even if you have the intention to build an entirely new desktop, well, let's consider that a bundle, you may not want to pay the extra premium that some retailers have imposed on GPUs. But if you have up to 10,000 ringgit to buy your next battle station, you should definitely consider the MSI G76 Raider. This thing is a total beast and I've actually used this for a couple of days already. It's Asus at Raytrace Games with a 140 watt RTX 3070 laptop GPU and has a lot more to offer as a gaming laptop. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and this is my review of the MSI G76 Raider. Like the MSI G66 Raider, the G76 Raider takes on a similar design language with a matte silver color scheme and some cool aesthetics on the corners. Build quality is excellent with no flexes and the front RGB Mystic light bar is super cool that you can configure it in the SteelSeries Engine 3 software. The G76 Raider comes with an abundance of ports. Among them, there is a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2X2 port that delivers up to 20 gigabits per second of data transfer speeds. You also get a high-speed SD card reader that is extremely rare on gaming laptops and three display outputs on the back. The G76 Raider puts other gaming laptops to shame with a full HD webcam. It performs really well and is extremely useful if you intend to use it for live streaming and conference calls. The loudspeakers sound way better than the G66 Raider that you wouldn't need to connect an external speaker for music and movies. The most eye candy part of the G76 Raider is of course the 240Hz refresh rate display, which can really get you immersed in high frame rate game titles. Having used the G66 Raider, I'm a little disappointed that this bigger sibling doesn't have the same keyboard layout and uses smaller size keycaps. Though some will appreciate the numpad, but I would love to have slightly larger keycaps for a better typing experience. It could also do with a slightly wider trackpad since it has more space at the bottom, but thankfully it has good tracking performance. The specs of the G76 Raider may look very similar to most other high-end gaming laptops out there, but MSI has made sure to include the 140W variant of the RTX 3070 laptop GPU and also enable a resizable bar by default, which allows both the CPU and GPU to have a more efficient graphics asset transfer. There's no way to disable the feature, so we can't really find out how much performance improvement we are getting. Another hardware feature that we aren't able to test out is Wi-Fi 6E, as we don't have a router that supports the 6GHz band, but connection speeds over our 5GHz Wi-Fi 6 network is incredibly reliable and fast. Things look really good on synthetic game benchmarks. We are seeing a significant performance bump in ray trace games such as Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Battlefield 5, which both achieve more than 60 frames per second on average. Cyberpunk 2077 is however a completely different story, even though I was pretty amazed that it could still handle around 45 frames per second on the ultra ray tracing graphics preset. On other modern game titles, the G76 Raider easily nailed more than 60 frames per second averagely, while terminals of both the CPU and GPU remain typical for a gaming laptop. The keyboard area also remains very cool when playing games and fan noise is reasonably audible when pushed to its limits. There isn't a lot of gaming laptops fitted with huge batteries, and the G76 Raider is one of them that comes with a 99.9 watt hour battery, which is the largest battery capacity allowed on planes, and the reason why I think one wouldn't mind transporting this laptop along for mobile work. Granted, for such power hungry internals and a 240Hz display, you shouldn't expect this thing to last as long as a productivity laptop. In my real world test, it could do slightly more than 4 hours on a single charge and that is good enough for a few rounds of presentations or finish a couple of Netflix original episodes when a wall socket isn't accessible. The performance it delivers is definitely worth trading for battery endurance if you really need it. The MSI G76 Raider currently retails at 9,499 ringgit and by all means it is cost just as much as a brand new PC gaming desktop and probably slightly cheaper if you do not factor in things such as a monitor, keyboard and mouse. So this is definitely a really good desktop replacement. Of course, it is very unfair to compare the performance of this laptop to a proper gaming desktop that comes with your RTX 3070 but with the prices of GPU going that high and the shortage issues, well, this is actually a pretty good alternative and I really recommend that you go check them out 
if you have the chance to. So that's pretty much about my thoughts on the MSI G76 Raider. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up and I will see you in the next one.